Certifications for BI Professionals. Whether you're brand new to the IT field or you've been in it a while, there's one thing that's for certain. It's that certifications are the name of the game in the IT field. For business intelligence professionals, that's not an exception. Certifications are a huge deal for us. And while there is an academic approach, being that a lot of universities are now offering degrees in analytics, master's in analytics, business analytics, applied analytics, those things are more focused on the actual statistics, the actual math and the actual theories that go into the analytics. They're not so focused on using the tool. For instance, we already talked about how there was a difference between building a data warehouse, which is the engineering side of things, and of course the reporting dashboarding side of things as well. Those are the skill sets that you're going to find in the certification training rather than most traditional academic fields. And what I wanted to show you today were the different options available to you. So let's first actually talk about the dashboarding, the analyzing and visualizing of the data first, because that's the one where you've got a few different options. I'm going to drag my trusty friend Chrome into the pane here, and we can talk about what's on top first. One of the most popular data visualization tools on the market right now is a tool called Tableau. Tableau was one of the very first tools to storm the market, showing people how easy it could be to connect the data, analyze it, and visualize it, and really make it look beautiful. Tableau offers a few levels of certifications for the different products. So one of their products is Tableau Desktop. And as you can see right here on the screen, they have three levels of certification. And as it starts off with the specialist, it goes up to the associate. It challenges you to do a little more of their mathematical functions and understanding how to actually visualize and analyze data. And the last level of certification is the professional, where they will actually grade the visualization itself to make sure that not only could you do the advanced functions in Tableau, but also that your visualizations meet the best practices, which is really, really cool. If you also scroll down, they also have Tableau server exams, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the architecture in a later nugget, but a separate component to Tableau is what's called the Tableau server, where we can actually publish our work to a larger audience so they can then interact with our dashboards that we built with them without having to install any special custom software there. The Tableau server presents it to them on a website, which is really, really cool. And being that it's a server, there's a whole lot of functionality and a whole lot of planning and prep work that goes into it. So these certification exams will really, really prepare you for that and really shows off the employers that you know what you're talking about when it comes to Tableau Server. Now, the flip side of Tableau, one of its biggest competitors is Microsoft's Power BI. And not too surprising, since Microsoft seemingly has a certification path for everything, um, they have a couple different certifications paths for business intelligence professionals. And since we're talking about Power BI, the one that I'm going to draw your attention to right here on the center of the screen is this MCSA BI reporting. This is the dashboard creation again, and there's two certification exams revolving around this one. The main one here that you want to focus on is Power BI. That is the competitor to Tableau. Now, which one should you go for? We've got a nugget on Tableau versus Power BI coming up in this course, so stick around for that one. Now, we've covered the analytics, the visualization, the dashboarding. What about the engineering, the data warehousing portion of it? Well, let's just scroll up just a hair, two up. They have what's called the BI development, which is where we're first going to design the actual database where all of the data is going to live in that our report writers are going to connect to. And then the developing SQL data models. This is using an analytical tool that's going to help us build out the structure of the data and it's going to build in a bunch of computations and queries that are going to help the BI writers down here, the, the report writers, it's going to make their life a whole lot easier because you've already properly modeled the data. Look, here's the thing. I'm a hiring manager in my professional duties on my day-to-day -day basis. I, if you were to apply for an analytics job with me and I saw that you had a professional certification and one of the things that we just covered, your resume just went to the top of my list. Now, it doesn't mean you got the job, 
you still have to be a cultural fit. I'm going to be giving you a technical interview just to make sure you really know what you're talking about. But that is really going to set you apart in the job market. And it's also going to give you amazing skills that's going to set you apart from all of the other people who are using these tools. So when you want to launch your career to the next level in BI, go after one of those certifications and hang out with CBT Nuggets because we can give you the training that you need. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.